Today we continue with part 6 on our Hibernic tutorial for Java programmers and today we are going to be talking about at one to many. The previous lesson we talked about at many to one and it was quite straightforward, but this one to many is a bit different. Let's first of all close this and let me close this as well and let's close this. So let's go to user. So we configure that many to one in user. Uh, user to location is many to one, but if we want to talk about one to many, it means one location, many users. So it means in the location entity, let me open it, we need to have one to many that points back to the users. Okay. So how do we do this? So how do we create this relationship at this point? Remember, a user has uh, a location, a single location, but a location can have many users, right? So we can get lists of users inside one location. So that is why we have one to many. Let's now follow the steps because I always recommend you follow the steps initially and later when it becomes clear to you, you can decide to try to do it yourself. In the location class, we need to add a private uh, field of type list of user. Uh, this means list of all the users under that location. So in location, we need to have a list of users. Private list of user list are users like this. Okay, so this means control shift O on your keyboard, control shift O. So now this location now can get us list of users. Annotate this field with at many, at one to many. So at one, remember the first part is the name of the class you are working with. The second part, the two parts, is the name of the field. So at one location to many users. So, so actually the annotation is going to be somewhere here. At one location to many users. Okay, so control shift O on your keyboard. In the user class as well, uh, in the user class, this time we need posts. So I'm going to say private. We need to get posts made by this user. So private list of posts. Posts. And I'm going to annotate it with at one to many. So the question now is who handles the mapping? If you if you add an annotation one to many or many to one, that entity where you added the annotation decides to handle the mapping. So in this case, when we added many to one in posts, post entity decides to handle the mapping. Now, when we add one to many in users, the user entity decides to handle the mapping. So there is a problem, there is a confusion here because both entities now want to handle the mapping. The initial one we added, which is many to one, the, the post entity that has one single uh, user handles this mapping by adding one additional field called the called the, the post ID. So let's take a look. In case of post, we have it adds one additional field called the user ID. That is decides how it decides to handle this mapping. So how is user going to handle this mapping? Let's see. In, in okay, we annotate. Okay, so annotate the field with that one to many. Run the application and try to access the H2 console. Uh, you'll notice that the H2 console there are additional tables that have been created, and that is what I try to explain here. So let's run this application and let's see what happens. So I'm going to run the application at this point. So what happens is this for the user location relationship, the location entity decides to handle the mapping by creating one additional table, right? So again, the post entity decides in the post user relationship, the user entity decides to create handle the relationship by creating one additional table. So in the case of location user, the, the user entity handles the mapping by creating one additional field 
called the location ID and the user entity, the location entity creates additional table. So this is confusion. Both of them are handling it in different ways. And this duplicate mapping has, has to be solved in some way. All right, so let's try to assess the, the, the H2 console at this time, and let's see what happens. I'm going to, okay, to reconnect at this point. I'm going to, okay, so now you have a location has created location users. So like users under that location and user has created user posts, meaning list of posts under that location. So that happened when we added one to many relationships in these tables, okay? So how do we solve this duplicate mapping? And that is what we are going to discuss in part seven, where we are going to be talking about the mapped by attributes. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe, leave me a comment if this is informative for you, and let's move on to part seven.